Well, hello, hello there, dear folks and fellow YouTubers. It's your best buddy here, Nuclear Scality Seven, and in at least one of today's videos, I'll be doing a playthrough of Final Fight from start to finish as character Mike Hager, <clears throat> played as a part of the Capcom beat 'em up bundle on the Steam platform on my game computer. Hey, bud. <clears throat> and in this playthrough, I'm going to go ahead and select Jesse Ventura, look-alike Mike Hager. It's funny, his real-life counterpart, Jesse Ventura, has a much more deeper, much more manlier voice than he does, which is kind of funny, even though he's actually quite a bit larger than he is. That's why it's funny. Hey, it's a cheesy fighting game from the late 80s and early 90s, so it kind of makes sense. I'm gonna smash these things to see what goodies there is. Because there can be health items inside those trash cans when you smash them. As you've seen happen there. Another thing you can do if you get surrounded by enemies is you can... I know there's a move you could do. I guess somehow I didn't need it. Oh! That's already the end of that specific section of the level. What the heck? Oh well, but it is what it is. And this is clearly the oldest video game I've done a playthrough or a walkthrough for yet thus far. Some interesting lighting effects there. Almost kind of horrorish or something. Yeah. Grab a little sip of my water here. So, these can also help make a difference in taking out the lives of enemies. Didn't really have time to grab it there, unfortunately. Now, this big black dude with the blondish dreadlocks is not as tough as he looks at first glance, at least. Depending, at least. At least not in my experience, anyway. It does take a little while to take his health out, though. And yes, he'll... Get out of the way to call up other enemies. So that is something to be aware of. And if you get cornered by enemies from all sides, you can do that special move like what I did just now. Those two times. That song gave kind of twirl, whatever the heck you call it. Okay. This game was released all the way back in 1989, so this is the oldest game I've done a walkthrough or a playthrough for yet as such. As we all know, 1989 was now 32 years ago, right now in 2019. This dude's almost dead. Now, just while I'm thinking about it, first round one clear. But I will be doing other playthrough videos for other games on the Capcom bundle, beat em up bundle collection, I should say. This is, won't be the only one. And I will be doing a playthrough of this again, this time using slightly different characters like Cody and Guy. <laughs> I very. Very much needed that piece of chicken there, which is a health item. And when you stop and think about it, Streets of Rage so stole that from this game. There's no other two ways of putting it. It's funny, Cappy Caffy you ask me. And there's Hugo Andor, whom we would eventually see in Street Fighter 3, Second Impact, and Third Strike, respectively. And I've got the summon I saw through. Uh! 
And Hugo Andor will run into you at certain times like a bull. So that's something to be careful and aware of. So yeah, that can do a lot of damage. And even then, it can catch you off guard. Be a bit of a surprise. This reminds me a lot of that 1985 movie, Last Dragon, with that character, that actor, I forgot what his name is. But I know Julius Carey, a black actor, played Shonuff. He died here not too long ago in 2008, which is now a solid 13 years ago. May his soul rest in peace. Amen. They are both dead as a doornail on the thing. Yeah. Look at the way he walks, it's so cheesy. But it's funny. Hey, that's kind of what goes to the territory with these old games. They're not as modern as or as sophisticated as the games we have now. But even those can be cheesy in their own respective way. I don't have his deep and manly of voices. Just a Ventura. Not a good imitation, but hey. Yeah. Yeah. Again, not the best imitation in the world, but hey, it is what it is. Oh! Watch out for those barrels, because enemies can use it to roll it at you, and that can do some damage, so you gotta be aware of that. I look like Jesse Ventura. I don't have as deep a voice as he does. <laughs> You'll also notice that Streets of Rage, especially Streets of Rage 2 for some reason, copycats a lot of its enemies after the enemies in this game. And yes, we're in a wrestling match with a skull and crossbones symbol in the center of it. Now, Saddam can be a little tough, but luckily not terrible. I'm gonna go ahead and steal his samurai sword from him. Thank you, buddy. That's very kind that you let me do that. I'll do it again. Yes, he does do, do those Sada, I mean, those Hugo and or like charge moves, especially when he's on stun for some reason. He needs to do his jumps a little more. And yes, if you're playing the Capcom bundle, beat him up bundle you have an eternal supply of continue so you don't have to worry about that so yeah all right die boy voila he's done as a doornail yep round two clear yes yeah, so this is a bonus stage where you can smash apart a vehicle just like street fighter 2 be able to smash it apart in time. Come on, boy. You can do better than that. Yeah. Come on. I didn't think so, but hey. Do it here. 
Ah, that's very satisfying. Smash the glass. Hey, it is what it is. Time over. And now I believe we're on the west side. Oh, did I ever notice that that guy was clearly inspired by Willem Dafoe's role in Streets of Fire as he played the antagonist in that? Raven Shadok, as he's called. Okay. This is interesting, because this is much more colorful than the other levels we've seen thus far. That's interesting. As I said just now. Ah, I love that sleazy 80s animal print clothing. Animal print design, I should say. action movie type music. That's why I, I kind of enjoy it. I use a samurai sword to take this dude out. And he's dead, I'm afraid. to imitate that now, because it's funny. Pipe is that one character's name. They're both dead as a rock, I'm afraid. Oh, Hugo Andor again. Or Andor Jr., as he's called. The chubby Asian guy with the ponytail there, they do quite a bit more deadly looking headbutts than all of the other their enemies combined, so that's something to be aware of. But they're not the en only enemies of their time. There's Caucasian variants that have a shaved head and a kind of chin strap beard. All right. Yep, Andor Jr. captures you to take you to a wrestling ring. And you fight not one, but two variations on the themes of them. So that's something to be aware of. Because if you're at least new to this game, that can make it a little challenging. Especially if you're playing the actual arcade version, which might not rely on the same kind of continues as the Capcom beat em up bundle does. Yeah. Use the crowbar or whatever you call it to hit them with. Won't be long before they're dead as a rock. What do you know? That worked very well on fighting them. Now, the levels do kind of play music over and over again, but hey, can't say I mind that too much, but I know some of you might find that annoying or boring for whatever reason. Yeah, those are the other guys I was talking about, with the beards and the baldish head. So those guys aren't just Asian, but Caucasian as well. Okay. Gonna throw knives at him. And again. And he's dead as a rock. Or he almost was, anyway. Until I actually took him out there. Oh, something I just noticed now. So those special moves, a little like Streets of Rage, can drain your health. So that is something to be aware of. Look how colorful, colorful that level is. Yeah. Look how hairy of chest that that corrupt police dude has. Gonna take him out first so he's not a problem later on. Eddie E as he's called. Ah, 
Ah, he shot me, that little coward. Yeah. Now watch out for the guys that throw those sort of Molotov cocktails. Those can be deadly. Luckily, they don't have a lot of health left. But still, be careful about them. You're lucky you're still standing there, please, boy. Ugh, he shot me down before I could get him. Finally, he's down. That's right, kid. Round three, clear. And we finished west side. Now we're in the industrial area, and as you can tell by that molten metal at the bottom of the screen. Now, oh, watch out for these flames, as you saw happen to be there. You can jump. Yeah, watch out. They will do a lot of damage. Fair amount of damage. Oh, that was probably not exactly smart what I just did. Let the flames take care of the other guys. Ooh. Just want to get out of the way of those things as quickly as possible. <laughs> so they're not. Let's shoot later on. And they're dead. Hopefully there comes some more of them. Just stay over here until the flames are gone. Luckily, they can hurt the enemies as much as they can you. Not actually more so, considering they have a lower amount of health than you do. Oh, one character is called Slash. That's interesting. He's already dead, I'm afraid. Finally, we're out of that area. Smash the barrels so we can... So we get health. Early fat bearded guys, I like it. Alright, let me just take out these dudes first here, buddy. So they won't bother us later on. I think I already took them both out over there. Sometimes you just have to do that quite a bit because, yeah, those enemies can really kind of pack up in numbers, and that can be a problem, as we all know. I need to do a little more jumping moves with kicks. I'll be the first to admit it. So I'm going to take out Andor there so he's not a problem. That's weird. Oh, well. Luckily, I'm able to come back. Down this little area here. <clears throat> yes, we're going up this sort of elevator here of myriad sorts. And this is also a level where we're going to find a familiar face 
from the Street Fighter series. No, I don't mean just Hugo. Yes, Relento there, the guy who just tossed the grenades at us. He's another character we're gonna meet. He's dead. Oh, I somehow managed to take them both out. Watch out for those grenades, because yes, they can do a sizable amount of damage at least. Yeah. Yes, die boy. That's Relento just took me out. Oh my gosh, I had an extra life more than usual. That's awesome. Very grateful to the game for that. And yes, there's Relento of Street Fighter Alpha fame. For those of you who are more familiar with Street Fighter Alpha, yes, he was uh, one of the playable characters in that. I know he's a major character. Yeah. Get back here, you coward. You grenade throwing coward, I should say. Oh, watch out. <clears throat> and he managed to get me with one of those grenades. It's kind of surprising that that was the only time he managed to do that. Voila, I just took him out. Watch, and he accidentally takes himself out with his own grenades. Now we've finished industrial area. Now we're on a bonus stage. Break class. Ready. Start. We're gonna do smash those things to a pulp. Smash, boy. Smash, boy. Time over. I'm surprised that I did that as well. So now we're on an area called the Bay Area. Not obviously in San Francisco, but in Metro City, this kind of parallel universe New York City. Capcom, slightly less colorful and gothic version, I guess. You could say of a DC Universe type of city. Love how in these old school beat em up games, the enemies' bodies disappear after you kill them. That's a, kind of fun and satisfying, if you ask me. That's what I think, anyway. He's dead. I should say I'm dead. doing full dashes of it, boy. He's gone. Die, you retarded beast. Yeah, awesome. So yeah, so that's pretty much what I do when I fight these guys. This makes it easier eventually take the bout. They're both dead as a doornail, all of them. Let's see what goodies are inside these wooden barrels here. Lots of goodies from the looks of it. Pepsi can, a soft drink as it's called in the game. Well, it's an actual term for soda. Yes, I can be a bit... I love soft drinks myself. Because, yeah, it just tastes good. I'm cleaning up my diet for the next few days, starting today, though, making this video.
Oh, let's grab that pizza. Yeah, that will restore your health like the chicken. As it's called. Dive. Dive! Somehow having more of a sense of humor about getting beat in this game than I am in that last Street Fighter 3 New Generation I made video I made before this one. Guess I'm in a better mood partly. Don't know why though, guess I am for whatever reason. Grab that hot dog just for health. It's interesting because those aren't entirely healthy in real life. They are interesting health items in a game like this. Hey, video games are kind of cheesy now, especially this time. Okay, so got a lot of several different poisons. Who also would make an appearance in Street Fighter 3 New Generation and Third Strike? There we go. Whoa! He's dead, I'm afraid. I'm going to grab this metal bar. He's just an weapon against other enemies. Die, you punk. Grab the samurai sword to slice and dice him with. Yeah. Some more German than I do Japanese. <laughs> now, if I'm correct, clearly one of those guys were named after the musicians in the band Guns N' Roses, Axel and Rose. Interestingly enough, Street Fighter 3's Alex is partially modeled after Axel Rose from <clears throat> Guns N' Roses. Definitely needed that. Glad it was there. Man, that's surprisingly damaging move. Ah, that restored me 100% to health. Smash that telephone pole, see what goodies is in there. Ooh. Notice those motorcycles in the background. <coughs> Must be a ba biker gang around here somewhere. <coughs> and those flame throwing guys, the sort of Molotov cocktails, as I said before, they can be a little <coughs> deadly, so be careful about them. <clears throat> and luckily, again, they don't have a lot of health. Just one simple hit, and they're dead as a doorknob. I was dumb enough to walk into those flames. Hey, I got some health from beer, though. Ah, barbecue chicken. I really needed that. <clears throat> oh, yeah.
tile. Yeah. Alright. Don't forget to grab that hot item in the form of the chick in there, should you need it. Like I did there just now. <clears throat> Alright. Alright. I thought I needed it really bad, but I want to have it crafted anyway. Because I can, as Big Mac Davis would say in one of his videos for Doom 3 BFG Edition. Samurai sword to slice and dice them. Sweet. He's that as a rock. Now that I've chopped him up with my samurai sword. How do they not lose body parts when they chop to the samurai sword? Now, watch out for Abigail. <clears throat> for those of you who are familiar, you probably saw him in Street Fighter V, but this game, he can be a little bit tough. Luckily, not terribly. So he does a lot of moves where he throws you up into the air. Die, monster. Ugh! Doesn't help that there are other guys, of course, accompanying him in his fight against you. You'll notice how that throw did. Oh, yeah, I forgot to learn to use that more. That move more. Yeah! <clears throat> Including against Abigail himself. It's weird. Such a big, tough, masculine guy has a woman's first name. That's kind of funny and ironic. Okay, it is what it is. It's funny, though. There's no question about it. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. And even once you beat Abigail, you beat all the other guys in it. So we finished Bay Area here. Now we're in Uptown. I guess that means downtown of Metro City. Yeah. So I mentioned before, the music does get a little repetitive as it uses the same track in some of the rounds or levels, obviously. Watch out for those chandeliers, they will damage you, as well as the health of enemies, but yeah, watch out for that, of course. Yeah, we're meeting up a familiar face here, Andor, as he's called, or Hugo, as he's called in Street Fighter 3. Second impact and third strike, I should say. Sounded kind of apish or something there. Now, the reason I'm choosing exclusively Mike Hager is 
because this is an exclusively Mike Hager playthrough. But I will do the same when I'm playing as Cody and Guy and my other playthroughs for this game. All right. It's rather... Oh, come on, give me a chance, boys. One who? That ain't tough the Chinese name, one who? Yeah! Oh, man, that... Man, I'm glad that's not happening to me, because, my gosh, that would hurt like hell if that happened in real life. I would not be curious to know how that would feel. Obviously, that could not feel good. <laughs> oh, boy. <clears throat> okay. He didn't have to waste my health and energy, but there's just so many of these enemies around. You kind of have to do that. Especially when they kind of gear get up on you. <clears throat> Die, you little punks. Take out these dudes with the radiation logos on the back of their sleeveless jackets. A little bit there, buddy. I'm taking out some dudes here with mohawks. Okay. All right. Hollywood. Interesting name for some of those characters. Especially considering this level is a lot of palm trees. Obviously, I'm not going to need that slice of chicken there now that my health is full. Except now that it got lowered quite a bit, I'll go ahead and grab it. Oh, yeah. Die! Watch out for those chandeliers, because yes, as I said before, they will <clears throat> hurt you if they fall on you, so move out of the way of them. to get under those chandeliers like what you saw me do just now. There'll be a few more parts where we will have to do that as well. He's dead. Yeah. Ah, it's annoying. At least it killed them as much more than it did me. Hey. Oh, yeah, that was really satisfying. Need to learn how to do that more, because that is such a satisfying move. Die. There we go. Oh, yeah. 
Then watch out for those chandeliers. Move past them the way I am. Yeah. Die, boys. He's dead, I'm afraid. Oh, yeah, I love it when I'm able to do that. That's just way too satisfying. Finally, I managed to get out of the way of those things. Get rich from all these goods here. Grab the samurai sword. Let's see what's under this barrel here. Just a simple knife, but hey, it's better than nothing. Yeah. Ah, I couldn't do that spinning move to get those things out of there. they kill their own guys that's funny oh I love that move that's so satisfying ah Mike Hager broadcasting his rage to the world out of the way of those chandeliers like you see me doing there. Another way you can do that potentially is going up here, but I prefer to go down because it's much easier to avoid them that way. And yes, we're already at the bad guy. So what we gotta do is we gotta kick him out of the wheelchair so he can let go of Mike Hager's daughter there. Ah, guys are getting me before I can do that. Of course, he had to be able to shoot me down before I could do that. Yes, he's the guy who looks like a cross between Abraham Lincoln and an 80s action movie villain from a film starring Patrick Swayze or something. It's interesting because Roadhouse, the 1989 movie, was released around the same time as this film. It's cool to say the least. Oh, he keeps managing to get me. So, you, again, you gotta 
hit him out of the wheelchair there, so that way he lets go of Mike's daughter, as you saw me do just now. And it's weird. He can't walk, so he has to jump up and down. I don't know how he can jump if he's technically disabled, since he can't walk. Hey, it's a cheesy video game. It's what's fun about it. It's like a cross between Abraham Lincoln and an 80s action movie film. It's kind of an interesting combo. Not one you would expect to go together somehow. At least not always. Anyway. Yeah. Ah! Already defeated him. And yes, he falls to his death through that window. At least from the looks of it, anyway. Yes, Mike tends to his daughter there. Oh, father! I was so scared! I'm so glad to see they didn't hurt you. I'm so sorry, Jessica. I thought I had lost you, like I lost your mother. I'll never let anything bad happen to you again. I love you, father. Yes, this is the ending of the game here. Yes, this is a staff, as you can tell here. Yes, they're going back to the areas we had just fought in. Awesome. Well, there are folks and fellow YouTubers, I believe that will end this video for this playthrough here. And remember, if you liked this video, please do a martial arts move on that like button below. And if you want to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button below. I shall see you all when I see you all in the next video, folks. Till next time, though, I am Nuclear Scholar 7. Goodbye for now. Cody! That's rather random how you just hit him like that. Where are you going? How can you just walk away now? I want to stay here with you, Jessica, but I can't. Not while evil still stalks the streets. Oh, Cody. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, folks, and I shall see you all when I see you all in the next video. Till then, though, I am Nuclear Scholar 7. Goodbye for now and have an excellent and wonderful rest of your day.